hello. My name is Winifred Fletcher, but you may call me Winnie for short. I do hope that each and every one of you are getting along during this quarantine. It has come to my attention that someone has requested a Bible story. One of my good friends, Philip Garner. So, Philip, I am going to read a story for you and for all the children. I do hope you enjoy it. Now, the story is going to be about Noah and the Flood, as you have requested it. And my husband... Oh, say hello, dear. Oh, yes, 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 hello. Yes, yes, dear. Frank Furter here. Oh, yes, Frank is behind the camera. And he's also going to do some magic with the editing and put the pictures from the story on the screen next to me. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, yes, dear, yes, well, quite wonderful, you know. All right, let's get home with our story. Now, as I said before, my husband, Frank, is going to put the pictures right over there next to me, and I am going to be reading from the book which is placed in front of me on another screen. Who knew that my husband working as a BBC correspondent would pay off? <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, yeah, you know, I'm very good at uh, electronic things, you know. Oh, I know, dear. So, this book is one that I really do like, and it is called Noah and the Great Flood, and it is by Bible for Children. Now, this book was written by Edward Hughes and illustrated by Byron Unger and Lazarus, adapted by M. Marriott and Tammy S. Noah was a man who worshipped God. Everyone else hated and disobeyed God. One day, God said something shocking. I will destroy this wicked world, God told Noah. Only your family will be saved. God warned Noah that a great flood would come and cover the earth. Build a wooden ark. A boat big enough for your family and many animals, Noah was altered. God gave Noah exact instructions. Noah got busy. Probably people mocked as Noah explained why he was making an ark. Noah kept building. He also kept telling people about God. Nobody listened. Noah had great faith. He believed God even though rain had never fallen before. Soon the ark was ready to be loaded with supplies. Now came the animals. God brought seven of some species, two of others. Birds great and small, beasts tiny and tall, made their way into the ark. Perhaps people shouted insults at Noah as he loaded the animals. They did not stop singing against God. They did not ask to enter the ark. Finally, all the animals and birds were aboard. Come into the ark, God invited Noah. You and your family. Noah, his wife, his three sons, and their wives entered the ark. Then God shut the door. Then the rain came. A great downpour soaked the earth for forty days and nights. Floodwaters poured over towns and villages. When the rain stopped, 
Even the mountains were underwater. Everything that breathed air died. As the waters rose, the ark floated on top. It may have been dark inside, maybe bumpy, maybe even scary, but the ark sheltered Noah from the flood. After five months of flooding, God sent a drying wind. Slowly the ark came to rest, high in the mountains of Ararat. Noah stayed inside another forty days as the water lowered. Noah sent a raven and a dove out of the ark's open window. Not finding a dry, clean place to rest, the dove returned to Noah. A week later, Noah tried again. The dove came back with a new olive leaf in its beak. The next week, Noah knew the earth was dry because the dove did not return. God told Noah it was time to leave the ark. Together, Noah and his family unloaded the animals. How grateful Noah must have felt. He built an altar and worshipped God, who had saved him and his family from the awful flood. God gave Noah a wonderful promise. Never again would he send a flood to judge human sin. God gave a great reminder of his promise. The rainbow was the sign of God's promise. Noah and his family found new beginnings after the flood. In time, his descendants repeopled the whole earth. All the nations of the world came from Noah and his children. Noah and the Great Flood is a story from God's Word, the Bible, is found in Genesis 6 to 10. The entrance of your words gives light, Psalm 119, 130. The end. Oh, I hope you love that story, children. I'll be more than happy to read some more if you would like. And hopefully you enjoyed that story, Philip Garner. I do enjoy reading to children. And I wanted to give a special shout out to one Miss Mallory Martin. Miss Mallory, I do love your reading. And I don't want you to think I'm trying to muscle in on your territory. Is that how you folks say it? <laughs> oh no, I'm just doing a request for a friend. But you do ever so lovely readings, Miss Mallory. I enjoy them thoroughly. Keep it up. Um, Frank, I do believe I'm done now. Let's turn the camera off. Oh, yes, dear, yes, dear. I will shut it off. Goodbye.